Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Ibble. Make sure you guys download the app, follow me, and talk to me on there. This episode of the show is sponsored by BetterHelp. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people up with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable. Just fill out a quick questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It's that simple. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless search for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Blair. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Blair. Republicans tear into Kansas uh, Democratic governor for a taxpayer funded all ages drag show called the Dada Ball. Yeah, I guess that's what's really fucking crazy is that it's not just that these events are becoming popular organically, it's that the government is funding them, right? So you have to look at why that is. You have to look at why they stand, what they stand to gain from that. Because it'd be one thing if, and both are true, they are, you know, gaining popularity, but it's not entirely organic if they're literally being funded by the government. Um, so let's read. Can Kansas Republicans are tearing into Democratic Governor Laura Kelly and her administration over revelations that taxpayer dollars helped fund an all-ages drag event over the weekend. Right. So you have the modern left that demands people support every whim, right? So it's not just enough that you have to emotionally support these events or, you know, support whatever, wherever their ideology leads them because they're constantly changing every year. Um, but you also have to fund it through your taxpayer dollars. You also have to fund it. You have to go to work knowing that a portion of your paycheck is going towards drag queens uh, flashing their tanks to children. Um, I'm really fucking tired of talking about this one because this one is one of those ones that I kind of feel like when it comes to pedophilia, anyone who's trying to say that drag queens are just inherently pedophiles, fuck you. That's not the case. However, anyone who doesn't see that pedophiles are clearly taking advantage of these events and sifting in, which is why you're constantly seeing them get arrested, which is why you're constantly seeing shit come out, which is why you're seeing sexual behavior in front of children. When it looks like it, it kind of just is, right? If it quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, smells like a duck, it's just kind of a fucking duck. The theme of this podcast is if you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you're, you know, someone who's familiar with pedophilia in general and you know how this goes, you kind of just know when it looks like it, it just is. And even if it isn't, you err on the side of just pretending, making sure that it is so you don't have to go back and you didn't see it. It's like, the drag for kids shit is just fucked up. Like it's just fucked up. There's no way to spin around it, you know? And I'm pretty sure I actually have friends that, you know, back in LA that partake in some of these all ages drag events. And it's like, I don't know, maybe I should be a little more outspoken to them specifically. I haven't seen them do anything crazy at the, these events. It's more of like a lip syncing so far looking appropriate on my stories, on my Instagram stories. But it's just like, girl, can we chill? Chill, please. Today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Give online therapy a try at betterhelp.com slash Blair. That's better H E L P dot com slash Blair. You know, life does not come with a manual, and there are always those times where you're feeling at a low and you're needing help, and that's where BetterHelp can come in. And it's normal to feel stuck sometimes navigating life, career, family, all the stresses that you may individually be dealing with can be a lot. Therapists are trained to come in at this time where you may be feeling a low and can help you weather the storm. I personally went my whole life saying that therapy was not for me until pretty recently, actually, when I went to therapy and learned that I absolutely needed it. And it was actually an extremely rewarding experience for me. And whatever your particular situation is, therapy can come in, help you with self-empowerment, with self-awareness, coping skills, so many different rewarding things. And as the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professional and vetted therapists online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match you with a therapist. And if things aren't clicking, you can switch to a new therapist anytime. It's that simple. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless search for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Blair. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash Blair. I like... I guess it's my ego thinking that when I complain about things enough that it will actually cause change in the real world. And people will actually wake up and listen to me. But clearly with the case of drag 
shows for kids. That's not the case. Cause I've been talking about this for a minute and it's only escalating. Like I made a video in June about this and I included as many like fucked up clips that I could, as many like horrific examples to really get my point across. And those examples now, just from June to now October, look like they weren't even that bad in comparison. So Robbie Starbuck, who I like Robbie, um, he tweeted out recently, kids in Waco, Texas were treated to a drag show by someone named Harlot Hussey. Harlot Hussey. At an event reportedly sponsored by SpaceX, Hussey spread their legs and stimulated rubbing their genitals for the kids. Elon Musk, please tell us this won't happen again and speak out against this. Yeah, this drag queen is literally on their back, spreading their legs like they're about to get effed in front of these little kids. And look at these, I'm sorry. This is the perfect venue for, ugh, for fat, white, libbed out women with no discernible talent, hobby, or purpose in life internal purpose. I'm not saying they don't have a purpose. Everyone's a purpose, sure. But internal purpose to just feel so great about themselves. Like taking their kid to a drag show. The way that this woman is like, oh my God, blushing for this drag queen fucking grinding on her. Like get a personality if this is if this is what you do and, and you feel good about it. I, I just don't understand. And And they're never talented, by the way. Like these drag queens that go and twerk for kids and like show their crotch to kids on some like pedo vibes, like they're never even talented. Like I've been to drag shows where the, the talent is like great. Like I've been to drag shows where there's someone 30 feet high, like with fire beneath them on a stripper pole and like go down to a death drop from 30 feet in the air. Like that's the shit I like. And when there's adults around, right? That's when drag is like, cool, this is not cool. I think the fact that it's so defended is what really gets to me. It's like, People have these blinders on when it comes to like men in makeup. I don't know what it is that like they can do no wrong. And like maybe it's the mix of making themselves more like feminine in nature that they somehow like people lower their defenses and expect less like rapey male behavior from them. Maybe that's it. I, I don't understand. Eyelashes don't hide the devil, girl. And this shit is the devil. Like you can put on as shitty of a wig as you want. Yeah, and you're dressed like a hooker. It's not like you're dressed like in like a gown or being funny. It's like you're on the floor in voodoo shorts with your legs up in the air and little kids watching. You're a piece of shit. I actually do think drag queens that participate in this are pieces of shit. And can I just say, for anyone who's like super like enamored with like the drag lifestyle or whatever, it's like you clearly haven't met many drag queens. When I was living in LA, and, and, you know, I would go out in West Hollywood, like the party scene and my friend group, they were all in West Hollywood, right? Like I have met so many queens from like drag race and just queens that are like popping in LA and, you know, at the top of their game or whatever. I'm not trying to be shady because it clearly has nothing to do with gay people. It has to do with a specific profession, which is drag, right? In my experience, like all these even like very famous successful drag queens are all fucking losers in real life in the sense that they're all on drugs. They're all on like six day benders every time you meet them. They're all having like gross promiscuous sex and I'm not a prude, get whatever you want. But like there's something about like grinder hookups every night that's probably revealing something about your soul that's not quite there, right? And all these drag race queens, and these are the upper echelon, right? So this is not just kids are choosing to twerk in front of kids. All these drag race queens, are on drugs constantly and they're messes and like they're not nice people. Like, you know who's nice from Drag Race that I met is Adora Delano. Adora's cool as shit, but also Adora's not even like, I don't even see her as a drag queen. I see her as like a, more of like a gender bender, like punk rock sort of thing. She's cool. Um, Willem's also cool. Willem has a bad reputation for being rude. Willem's pretty cool. Um, but regardless, even like most of these upper echelon drag queens are like, complete messes in real life. So then you have these people being hired. These are the people that can't make it to drag race. They're like twerking for kids, like get your life together. I, I don't understand. Like to me, it's just blatant sexuality to like spread your crotch in front of kids. To me, that's blatant. It's not like there's no if and or buts about it. Hey, if you guys enjoyed that short clip from the podcast, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well as my main channel and watch the full episode, which will be somewhere on the screen.